I sobbed loudly and repeated what he told me earlier. He gave me another tight hug and said, Good girl, I will find you. Flourish and live, little one. Next second, Lucian jumped off the cliff. He shifted halfway through the jump and dropped into the river. I heard a yelp as he hit the water. I stared for so long, waiting for him to resurface, but I saw nothing. I fell to the ground and curled into a ball. My name is Celeste Pierce. My daddy was Lucian Pierce, Gamma to the Alpha. <gasps> it was Alpha Jeff Spada and some warriors. I closed my eyes and pretended to sleep. Someone picked me up and said impatiently, This better be the damned child. I can't believe we still haven't found her. How hard is it to spot the Alpha's pup? It will be a spoiled brat with zero knowledge of the world. Well, I don't know, boss. This one doesn't look like an Alpha pup. She's too small. This looks like an Omega or something. I had my eyes shut tight all the way. When the Beta put me down, I found that they sent me to Alpha Jeff. I had to fight hard to control the anger as I stared at the monster that killed my parents. He asked, What's your name, pup? I answered timidly. Celeste Pierce. He asked, What rank are your parents and how old are you? I looked down, hoping he wouldn't notice my eyes. I had my father's deep blue eyes. I'm six years old. My daddy was Gamma Lucian Pierce. Hmm? I didn't know the Gamma was mated. My mommy died at childbirth. I didn't know where that idea came from. It was as if I had someone whispering me the answers he wanted to hear. Alpha Jeff smirked at his men and said, Take her to the pack house. She'll be an Omega servant. Maybe once she gets her tits, we can get something for her. Or at least have some fun. One of them dragged me over to a group of other children that were crying and holding each other. All of us orphans now. From here, I could still see my father and mother's lifeless figures on the training arena. Hundreds of bodies littered around them. At the same time, I could hear the cries of the unmated females all around me, along with many grunts of the men raping them and claiming their prices. I heard one of the men howl in pain, and then a scream of a woman as he beat her senseless. The beta came and shouted, don't damage the merchandise! The man stopped and I looked at the woman. Her lifeless body was lying on the ground. After the small disturbance, they sent all of us little ones to work at the pack house. In the eleven years since, I basically became a slave. Not paid, but starved, beat, and molested. Sometimes my broken gift would give me premonitions so I could escape. I've also noticed a scary fact. Several slaves have started to go missing as they reach 19. There were rumors of them being raped and murdered or banished. It was always after the next full moon. The ones that found mates left the pack house. The ones that didn't were the ones that disappeared. I looked in the reflective surface. Thanks to the fact that they starved us, I was too thin and too small. It was easy for them to believe I was only 17, that I was yet to get my wolf. The truth was, I shifted in secret, letting my wolf Kara get strong. Kara smirked in my head. Ugh, damn right we're strong. We're destined for greatness, you know. 